Lance Nelson here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. One of the big topics of the show has always been you know, mobile payments and NFC is one of the big underlying pieces of infrastructure that empowers that. And uh, I'm here with Jeff Miles, who is the Vice President of Mobile Transactions for NXP. Uh, who is NXP? You guys make NFC chips, right? Yeah, absolutely. So NXP is a very large uh, Dutch company. Uh, we make the uh, chips, the NFC chips are in phones. We also make the security chips, the secure element that can be either in a SIM, micro SD, or embedded in the solution. What, what phones have your stuff in them? There's about 48 commercial phones available today uh, in the market uh, with another 90 that are basically in the works today. So there's pretty significant amounts of the phones. Most of the new smartphones you see being announced here this week uh, all contain NFC as a standard feature. So give us a couple big names. Uh, Sony, uh, LG, HTC, Samsung, uh, RIM, uh, as a, just to name a few that actually have uh, NFC today in their, uh, their phones. Now, um, whatever you're interacting with also has to be NFC enabled. Do you make that side of it as well? Uh, actually, we do, yeah. So the infrastructure is a critical part. So the NFC, for it to work, it has to talk to another device, another tag, or another device. Uh, so we're actually very much present in the transit systems around the world, about 650 cities around the world. Uh, most of the payment terminals around the world also contain our chip on the other side. We also make much of the tag infrastructure that you see uh, around the world that uh, identify devices, library books, animals, a whole range of things. So really looking at that full end-to-end -end for the ecosystem in NFC. We probably shouldn't talk too much about animals because the... Uh the animal rights people might get yeah, upset. Probably not the number one use case for for NFC, but uh, yeah. Okay, talking about use cases, I'll, I think we've got a few demos that we want to see, so let's go take a look and see what we've Absolutely. got here. That'd be great. Okay, our first demo, you've taken me to a parking meter. I've seen a lot of these and some parking tickets as well. Uh, what are we doing here? Yeah, so we're just taking a look at one of the use cases for NFC. So this is just a standard parking meter, electronic. And basically with an NFC application, I've got the application on my phone, I simply use an NFC tag that's already embedded in the, in the parking meter. It allows me to then go immediately to the application. I open up, I put the amount of money that I want, and now that parking meter is basically reserved for me for a period of time. What's a nice feature of this particular one is while I'm at the coffee shop or the restaurant, if I need extra time, I can open up the app, add additional time, and the parking meter is fine and avoid those parking tickets. And do I need to be, you're near it to actually start it. If I want to add more time, do I have to be at the parking meter, near it? It doesn't matter, the app is talking somehow on the back end? Yeah, no, once you've authenticated which parking meter you're talking with, uh, then there's no longer need. You're just going through the cloud to allow you to add uh, additional time to the parking meter. Well, where where can I find these uh, parking meters? What cities? A number of cities around, uh, I believe there's some in the UK right now. San Francisco, I know, has uh, a number of these meters that are out. Uh, certain markets, too, different schemes and different systems. I know uh, Hong Kong, for example, uses only the octopus card. So there's a lot of different places. And I think parking meters is a great use case to eliminate the need for cash, coins, and things. It's really ease of use. Uh, is I think one of the great examples of how NFC can be used. Okay, great, let's great. go see the next uh, demo. Okay, so now we're, we're gonna see Foursquare. Now this is, um, this is, there's a tag right here. Yeah, exactly, so there's an NFC tag sitting in the Foursquare uh, check-in, so as a way to do a mobile location and be able to check in, authenticate where you are, simply take this, it's gonna read the tag, and allows me then immediately to go and check in to my location. So it's really just a convenience factor, rather than using GPS, selecting your locations. It also gives me and the merchant the ability to authenticate exactly where I was. And well, are we seeing these, obviously the merchant has to put this in there, right? And so are we starting to see this, and if so, where? Yeah, it's already in everybody's uh, Foursquare application. The NFC capability is there. So you're starting to see in different locations these tags. You see it also with Google and their places. So the tags are starting to become more prevalent. I wouldn't tell you that everywhere yet, but certainly as it gets deployed more and more, adding the tag is, uh, is something that you're seeing much more. Okay, let's go to the next demo. Okay, people have heard of Google Wallet, and um, we're going to see a demo here of that, but that requires both the NFC, the communications part, and a security aspect too, right? Yeah, absolutely. This, is, this takes advantage of the embedded secure element that's today in the Galaxy Nexus, Nexus S, and exactly as you said, it's not only connecting, but connecting securely using that security chip. So I'm just going to show you a simple exa example of how the Google Wallet is used today. So what I'm going to show you here is the Google Wallet. It's an application that sits on your phone. Again, as I mentioned, if I'm going to get ready to go make payment, I have a variety of things, reward cards, my transaction receipt history, coupons and offers. Simply going to tap the uh, payment card, 
It's going to open up the payment card I've got. I go to one of the terminals. And so now it's been sent. And you'll see the confirmation coming up on the screen for my payment. I've got the receipt information, the fact that a coupon has been used, and the transaction's done. So it's simple, one tap uh, technology to be able to basically make payment, coupon, and receive your receipt all in one tap. How many times have you bought all those items at this show? I've bought quite a few times. I'm actually also the mayor of the location, so. <laughs> Great, all right, one more demo, I think. Okay, one of my favorite applications, I use it every day, multiple times a day, is Evernote. You're gonna show us a little demo here. What it, what's the tie-in with Evernote and NFC? Great, so I'm just gonna show you, like you said, an application using Evernote, great application. It's a simple way to put memory list or pieces of information, again, in the same tags. Basically, I could put these around the house, around a business, et cetera. So here we've set up a couple tags as an example, a to-do list, simple to-do list. Simply take my NFC phone, tap it on the tag. Evernote application immediately picks up from that tag the piece of information I need to know. So for example, the coffee machine, how to take it down and close it every day, we have a simple tag as how to do that. Here I've, we've got a recipe that's stored. Simply tap it, and I've got the recipe. So again, think of it putting it around your house with a DVD player, which we all struggle with to turn on. Simply have a tag, takes me exactly through how to go do that, so. Now how would somebody make one of those tags? You'd have to, is there like a special printer uh, application for that? Yeah, there's a number of suppliers actually where you can order the tags. So you're able to actually, and the NFC capability in your phone is to read and write. So you're actually able to program the tags yourself. There's a number of vendors to be able to create the, the basic tag, which is a small IC from us, as well as an antenna, and then the sticker, if you will, so you can actually put it on a certain location. Does the tag contain the information that Evernote needs, or... I mean, how did your phone know to take that and put it into an Evernote? Yeah, the application knows when it touches it. So that particular tag, when we program it, it knows it's like a service discovery. It knows to pick up the Evernote application, just like the Foursquare application or the Pay by Phone. So the tag and the phone actually have the smarts to know what it is I'm trying to do. If you didn't have the Evernote application, it would tell you you need to go get Evernote, Pay by Phone, or Foursquare. Okay, great. So we've seen a few demos here, different things, a parking meter, Google Wallet. Ever, uh, the Evernote yep. demo we just saw, the Foursquare check-in, a variety of things. Would you say that, you know, I mean, NFC is still kind of trying to get off the ground, and I think we're a lot further than, we seem to be further every year, but, um, you know, if you had to say we're uh, in a nine-inning baseball game, where what, what inning would we be in yeah. now? I think we're still in the early innings. I think you're still, you got two starters are still in. Um, but I think what you're going to see now, we've hit a critical mass of phones. So the two things that are going to start to happen is I think you're going to see the service providers like Google Wallet and ISIS in the U.S., uh, SK Telecom, KT in Korea, some of the bigger markets that will move the fastest from a payments and services, which we always talk about. But I think the second part is really getting these applications to developers like Evernote and Foursquare, which are now really don't need a lot of infrastructure to be able to start and use the technology. And last, I think, as we get into the middle innings, if you will, the consumers start to actually see this technology. So many have it on their phones today, but they don't have things they can actually do. So you'll see more parking meters, more tags, and more applications coming out, uh, especially this year. Great, Jeff. Thank Great. you so much. Thanks.